Right, um, hello, uh, I'm Chez. Um, uh, this is a talk about Groovy, basically. Um, right, okay. So, um, I'm, I'm a Groovy core developer. I uh, wrote the parser for the current implementation of Groovy. Uh, I'm doing a lot of the uh, what stuff in the middle of it. Um, what is Groovy? Acronym. Uh, it's an Amit language for the JVM. Uh, if you've got Java 1.4, you're, you're laughing at the moment with Groovy. Uh, we released it back in January. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it because you're mostly a Java crowd from Joe's original invite. Maybe some of you know, but okay. Um, okay. Um, it's built on the syn Groovy is built on the syntax uh, of Java 1.5. Uh, I say that because I nicked Michael Stubman's 1.5 grammar from Antler to do it, so it's generic friendly, annotation friendly. Um, but Groovy is really a, a superset of Java's syntax. Um, making the jobs that you do every day in Java easier. Um, okay, so if delve down into the code. Um, here is a Java way of interacting with lists, for example. You create in one and put stuff in. Um, that's the equivalent in Groovy. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Um, that's how you find <coughs> Java Bean in Groovy. Um, my playing card with my suit and my value. My well, getters and the setters. Uh, exactly the same um, bytecode equivalent in Groovy is that uh, things are assumed to be public, um, things are, uh, properties are, so suit and value are assumed to be properties with getters and setters. You can override a getter or a setter um, if you want, but by default that is public. Is the properties. Still public as well? Sorry? Is the, what's the, the class and the properties are both assumed to be public. Please, meaning getter and setter are public, but what about the fields themselves? The no, fields themselves are private. Right. Okay. Uh, there is ways to get hold of them. Uh, more Java beans um, interacting with them, the, the, the setters uh, there, um, and getting back the values. Uh, in Groovy, um, it kind of takes away, you see the set suit, open bracket, it comes just down to suit equals. So you're interacting with properties in a more natural manner, but you're not uh, violating encapsulation. So yeah. I may not be sure to answer this, have you got away with that using semicolons? Um, we have the, the new line sensitive grammar, um, so it, it is aware of the new line saying, okay, this is probably a start of a new statement. Um, you said probably, that's why it's probably not a lot of time to answer this. It, it, it is uh, in BNF, so it's, it's not just uh, a vague algorithm. And so that print line is actually sorry. aware of the context. Oh yeah, sorry, the second bit there is uh, the strings, we, we have an additional Groovy string called a D string. Um, which oh. has um, the, the, the dollar bit, it's just like the shell stuff in Unix, so it's sort of, it says, okay, I'm going to go off into my own little bit. But it knows about button. the context of the current. Yeah, yeah, it, the, the card is bound into uh, that thing there, so you can get hold of it. Um, as well as, you, you often do new Java Bean and then do the setters to sort of interact with stuff, like the dupe stuff or whatever. Um, you can also take that suit and the value uh, setter and put it up into the um, constructor. Um, so that's going to create a new, that's going to call the default constructor and then call the set value and set suit uh, all in one line. So it's just bringing everything down a bit more readable really. Um, checking for nulls often, um, I don't trust what stuff people were giving me in um, other people's code, so I'm checking for nulls always being defensive. Um, so I have to check before I then navigate down the object tree. Um, we introduced um, an additional syntax for the dot navigation around the object tree, and that's the question mark dot. So it's sort of saying their card, I'm a bit unsure, it might be null or not, I'm not sure, but don't, don't do an old pointer exception if I've got a null there. So you can, you can navigate down with it and do it in safety, but still keep the clarity of what you're trying to do. So, um, going back up again. Um, it's basically written by Java programmers for Java programmers. It's bytecode compatible. You create your Groovy source, compiles down to bytecode, uh, Java thinks it's the Groovy stuff is Java. Uh, Groovy thinks the Java stuff is Groovy. It, it doesn't really map mind. And the other thing, things like the strings, they're actual Java strings. The regular expressions are the way that Java's regular expressions work. You know, so it's it's not quite a little bit Unicode different and all that sort of stuff. Um, new stuff. We've got annotations just coming in. Uh, I've been working on doing Groovy Doc, which uh, is very cool because uh, you can read in Java and Gro Groovy splurge it together and create documentation and they, the hyperlinks work between them uh, and I did the amp task as well which is 
nice if you were going to write an ant task but you couldn't be bothered, you just hip out, uh, hop out into sort of Java groovy type language with the full ant build bindings available to you. Uh, we've got an Eclipse plugin, uh, we've got six guys working on that, no fluff of stuff, we've hired somebody to do the code completion, that seems to be going well. JetBrains are working on the IntelliJ plugin, NetBeans has got Gert, Gertjan, I can't remember his name. Yeah, he's yeah. working on the NetBeans Groovy uh, thing. Um, I use Emacs, but yeah. Um, <laughs> We've got books, uh, nice books. Uh, so it's not just woolly um, in somebody's you know, uh, PowerPoint way. Um, and there's other books as well. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah. That's our main site. Uh, there's a new site which, if you can't be bothered to have the mailing list, which is quite busy, there's a lot of community. That gives you the highlights of what's going on in the community. Um, Search Groovy, which uh, uses Google's co-op, uh, which is quite cool. I've uh, got about 100 or so documentation, mailing lists, S uh, subversion, Jira, all that sort of stuff. Searchable from one place. You can say, look for regex and it will find you the Groovy Java-ish version of it. And that's it. Thank you very much.